In this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and send custom messages using the alarm function and the multi watch feature. So let's get started. In the interest of time I went ahead and uh, created a project ahead of time. Uh, of course within the project um, systems parameters you need to set up the uh, email function you have to enable the email set up your server and uh, security credentials and of course it's always a good idea to um, to test your settings and of course it's succeeded in order to do the test of course you have to have recipients set up and uh, of course these are set up already <clears throat> so once all that's done then of course we want to uh, go ahead and create a uh, an event to use for our messaging we want to go ahead and uh, and use a category that we wouldn't use anywhere else in the project so I'm going to go ahead and set it to 255 um, we've got a uh, bit trigger uh, now uh, we can we can do this a couple different ways um, and in this video we're going to go ahead and set up a couple more of these um, we're gonna uh, so that we can send uh, messages to different groups uh, our, our different uh, recipient groups we're also going to use the uh, contact object to change the recipients of the uh, of the message and we're going to have a dedicated group that we will use for uh, to, to edit with so anyways uh, for this first one uh, we're going to use for our group A and um, and our our trigger bit is going to be LB0 on the message line we want to enable the multi watch uh, right here I'm doing we're reading three addresses and in the settings you can see I've got it set to string and we can read a maximum of 10 words so um, I've got three watch addresses so we can do up to 30 words of data or 60 characters so and we're ad and we're reading from uh, LW 0 10 and 20 that's going to give us our 30 words of, of uh, data email tab we're going to do this for uh, group A and um, on the subject line I just did message we can do a uh, message to A and um, I'm also uh, attaching a uh, screenshot we're going to attach a screenshot of our of our main page here to uh, every mess out, outgoing message. So we'll go ahead and exit out of there. Um, I've created a little uh, event display object here, and um, we want to just do two fifty five. category 255 only we're going to read the trigger time the uh, event message which is created by our, our watch addresses and um, we're doing a uh, display length of 70 characters it just gives us a little extra could be 60 and of course we don't need any security or anything like that so uh, down here I've got a uh, an ASCII uh, input object and of course we're writing 30 words length of 30 words starting address of LW0 
and uh, we're allowing input. Uh, down here is our trigger button. I'm just going to change this to momentary. It's our trigger button for uh, our group A. this look a little fancier here maybe all right so uh, there we go I'm gonna go ahead and save this and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a do a simulation And uh, we're going to go ahead and send a message to my cell phone. Of course, you can see I've got the number blanked out, but uh, I'm with AT&T. So the way that would be addressed would be, um, would be at mms.att.net. And uh, you can find out uh, the way to address for any of the uh, carriers on the Internet that's readily available. So let's go ahead and type a little message here. Uh, something like that. And uh, we'll go ahead and hit send. Now I want you to listen for the tone as soon as I hit send and see how fast it goes through the network and to my uh, phone. Oops, I forgot to hit enter. So as you can see in real time, that comes through pretty fast. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you a screenshot of the message. Pretty cool, huh? And uh, here you can actually see the image that was attached. Pretty neat, pretty neat stuff. So let's go ahead and, uh, and make a couple more for uh, the other groups. So we'll go ahead and uh, copy this and paste one in. Um, and the only thing we're going to change is the uh, trigger address. and the uh, recipients make this for group B and uh, trigger that with three and we'll do this for group C now uh, group C we're going to go ahead and just consider this our um, our editable group uh, we'll consider this the group that we don't that we can uh, edit and um, the uh, group uh, A and B will leave static for um, for our other general messages that are sent out from our categories uh, other than 255. So everything's the same. We're using the same uh, read addresses for the message and stuff. So we just need different triggers. easy enough so um, <clears throat> then naturally uh, when we run this if we uh, choose to send a group B or C or whatever of course we would just hit that trigger and it's as simple as that um, 
I can imagine a lot of uses for this. You could have uh, something in your PLC program or a macro within your HMI program that may put custom messages in for different faults and send to the recipients. Uh, uh, and an operator can could use it to call a maintenance guy uh, and give a description of the issue they're having at the time. Uh, uh, line supervisors could send messages to plant managers or workers to their supervisors or or uh, off shift people or whoever's on call. Just a million different things you think to use this for. Anyway, thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.